hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Dulu if you are new here welcome um, make sure to subscribe before you leave in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to cook mbongo chobi mbongo chobi is actually a traditional meal from Cameroon okay so I'm gonna share the recipe with you guys on how I make mbongo chobi this is my own way of making it everyone else's is different so i just figured out you know what since i was about to cook this why not film this video and share with you guys how i make my bongo chubby so so basically, bongo chubby is actually like stew, like tomato stew. The only difference is um, it has some like special traditional spices that we use back home in Cameroon. So I'm going to take you guys through the ingredients that we use for this recipe. So in here I have my um, jangsang and here I have some pebe. Um, I have jangsang and I have some pepper um, uh, and then I have my black pepper right here this is so here I have some onion powder is optional you don't have to use this but I like using some onion powder over here I have some onions I'm gonna use that to fry the sauce and over here I have some garlic and ginger and also i have some tomatoes and some onion and over there i have, there I have some leek celery and some spring onion or some green onion however you want to call it and then right here this is the main ingredients i have my bongo spice and, it, and also it comprises of a lot of um traditional spices that has been burned over mm -hmm. there i have some fish that are salted um the main thing the traditional way of cooking bongo chobi you have to use fish but i've eaten bongo chobi with beef and also with pork and it tasted good but i prefer to use um fish to cook my bongo chobi so i have some mackerel fish in there and also i have some of course i have some oil for cooking not forgetting not and also not forgetting my maggi and of course i'm gonna use some salt as well so let's get right into the video so the first step is gonna be to blend my oh i forgot to show you guys i'm using i'm gonna add in some pepper um so i'm gonna put everything into my blender So I'm putting my tomatoes, um, garlic, ginger, and some onion. And then I'm gonna peel my pebe and put it inside. I'm gonna put it inside. Put in my leeks and my celery and some green onion. And put everything and then i'm going to put in the main spices which is my um bongo put in some water and then now i'm going to blend everything together so you want to make sure that you blend everything until it is everything is fully incorporated I guess everything is um, it's a paste just like I want it to be so we're going to move over to the next step I wasn't recording so you mix everything up so you just 
so what I did is I actually thought my camera was recording but it stopped recording so all I did was I actually went ahead and just poured in my blended um, bongo spice or the paste into my fish and then I added in some um, black pepper and then now I'm going to add in some onion powder and then I'm just going to let it sit for about maybe 10 minutes you don't have to you can just if you don't have 10 minutes you can just go ahead and just move to the next um, stage directly which is what I'm going to do because I do not have 10 minutes fry my onion fried my onion for like one minute and then now I'm going to add in my bongo You know the real African way when our parents, my mom used to use her fingers to like make sure she scrapes everything in. <laughs> So I'm not going to add in any salt yet because I seasoned my fish with some salt. So the oil wasn't enough. I'm going to go in and add in more oil. Yeah. There you go. The oil is too much at the end. I'm going to drain it. So at this point, if you have like bay leaves, you can throw in some bay leaves inside. But I do not have bay leaves. So I'm just going to let it steam out for about 10 minutes. So my bongo is finally done, it is dry enough just the way I like it. Oh, look at that goodness, oh my goodness, oh, and it smells so good, yes, so yep, all done. So there you go guys, that is how you cook your mbongo chubby or that is how I cook my mbongo chubby. Um, like I said before, if I had like bay leaves, dried bay leaves, I would have thrown it in there but for now I do not have bay leaves at home. 
so yeah it's all done i'm gonna eat this with some plantain right here i'm gonna eat it with some plantain um you can also eat this with bobola or meander if you choose but i'm gonna eat mine with some half ripe plantain so much oil i know i'm gonna drain a little bit but this is how i was taught that you cook your your um bongo with the oil like this but it's a it's a matter of preference if you do not want this much oil just go ahead and limit the quantity and for me when i'm about to eat it i'm going to reduce the oil just because i do not want a lot of oil when i'm eating but i want oil at the same time so yeah so there you go if you haven't subscribed please 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 subscribe and also do not forget to hit the notification button before you leave that way you are notified each time i upload a video and until next time stay safe stay blessed and i'll see you on my next one subscribe